So for many years, I have been teaching a pituitary and pineal gland meditation, which is really sweet. And I thought I'd share it with y'all. Um, but first you have to learn a little bit of the positional anatomy of the pituitary and the pineal gland. I'm going to start with the pituitary because uh, you got to start somewhere. So the pituitary gland, bonk, right there. See the little green dot? That's the pituitary gland. Now, do you see there's an X here? X marks a spot. That's the optic chiasma. Now, the optic chiasma is the pathway of the optic nerves of your eyeballs as they cross over behind themselves. So you see how the skeleton has cones, a very cone shape here for the eyeball, and there's a kind of a hole in the back. The optic nerve passes through there at an angle right? Because the two eyeballs are in these cones, seated in these cones, so the nerves cross over each other like this. We call it the optic chiasma. And beneath it sits the pituitary gland. Now, another way to get to your pituitary gland, oh, where does it sit? It sits, I should draw it in, let's put it, it sits in the sella turcica, the Turkish saddle of your sphenoid bone. So it has a nice little pocket there. It's not just dangling in the wind. It's seated in a pocket, the sella turcica. So you follow your optic chiasma back, or your optic nerves, and where they cross, X marks the spot, you'll find the pituitary gland seated in the, in the sella turcica. Now you'll notice the bridge of the nose actually seats here too. So if you go to the bridge of your nose, or the bridge of his nose, and you go straight back, basically, at the midline, and then drop down into your sella turcica. So that's another way to find it. But also notice the soft palate here. If you take your tongue and follow the hard palate, I reckon it gets soft and go straight up from there. And there's what's called the sphenoidal sinus of the sphenoid bone, and then the pituitary gland. So three strategies for finding your pituitary gland. Follow your optic nerves back to X marks the spot and drop down. Follow your bridge of your nose straight back and drop down into the cell of the turcica. Or bring your tongue to the soft palate and go straight up. This is a way to sort of um, three, a three-pointed approach to finding your pituitary gland. What I'm going to ask you to do now, and if you're doing this with us at home uh, and joining us here in our studio, just, just sit down. <laughs> right? And, and, re and in a relaxed position. It doesn't have to be fancy, uh, just, but ju do sit down so that, uh, you know, if you're going to close your eyes, you don't keel over, right? So we want you seated uh, for this exercise. I say don't do this home, but I won't do want you to do it home, just seated. So come with me inside your somonauts, and you're going to navigate your inner space here by basically just following back through the cones of your eyes to where the nerves cross over and you'll be right over your pituitary gland or follow the bridge of the nose straight back and don't do this with thinking but do it with feeling actually sort of feel your way back there and finally you can go rise up through the soft palate and and triangulate these different spots and what i want you to do with me is actually notice the quality of sensation that you feel when you pay attention to this place in your body where your pituitary gland lives. You might notice particular qualities of sensation that you that surprise you or that that sort of leap leap out to your attention as you just kind of hang out here in this place it's in your body so it's yours to feel and just gently hang out there notice the qualities of sensation in your body that are particular to the place where your pituitary gland lives let your eyebrows be soft and then Bring your attention back to the room. <clears throat> you can continue to feel the sensations. And with your attention in the room, just you might say, 
oh, I felt such and such a way or such and such a way. I'm not going to tell you what you feel. <clears throat> I'm not going to plant any ideas in your mind. But just allow yourself to add to your inventory of self-knowledge the quality of sensation that you notice when you hang out with your pituitary gland. Now we're going to add the pineal gland. Where is the pineal gland? Well, this is the self-portrait, by the way. <laughs> you like it? So the pineal, the pineal gland I have drawn right there. Where does it live? It lives in the back of the third ventricle. It has little feet touching the thalami on each side of the brain. The thalamus here is this little round part here. That marks the interthalamic adhesion. We're looking at a cross section. This would be the corpus callosum of your brain. This would be the neocortex. And here we have our, our, our lateral ventricles. So the pineal gland sits at the posterior aspect of the third ventricle, which is kind of the negative space around between the two thal thalamus uh, uh, tissues. And you can see the fourth ventricle here, anterior to the cerebellum, with the aqueduct of sylvi passing the cerebral spinal fluid through the ventricles here. And notice how if you were coming up from the spine, you'd be sort of splashing like a, like, a, like, a, like a ball on a fountain, the pineal gland. Now, if we drop straight down from the crown of the head, the high point of your head here, you come into your pineal gland. It's absolutely in the middle of the, uh, the sagittal section, right? So it's in the middle plane along with the pituitary, directly down from the crown of your head. Another way to get to your pineal gland, well, we can't see the ears here, but if you went to the, if you went to right here on your ears and kind of went straight in <laughs> and met that midpoint from the crown, right, in the sagittal plane, you're going to come, might be a little above the cartilage here, a little above the cartilage, right? There you go, a little above the cartilage. So, so here's the cartilage. You know, we got to get up a little bit. Maybe, oh, maybe it's more towards the top of your ear now that I think about it. Yeah, it's kind of more towards the floppy part of your ear, and you go straight in there. And another way to access your pineal gland is to go back to your pituitary gland and to do kind of a back dive, because the pituitary is about two inches forward and a half an inch down from the pineal. So you kind of draw an arc between the two, see? Like that. I like to say it's literally like doing a back dive. I'm the pituitary and I'm reaching for the, for the pineal. Okay, so let's go there together. Okay, our pineal gland, if you just settle in again like you did, be seated and allow yourself to follow the pathways I just described. You might drop down from the crown of your head like a, like a plumb line or a pendulum down to your pineal gland. Or you could also kind of go like we described from the tops of your ears here, your ear cartilages, and follow your way into the center. Meet up with that midline again. Or you could just remind yourself of the feelings you felt when you visited your pituitary and kind of arc up and back from there and you'll find the pineal place. And as you do, just notice what surprising qualities of sensation you might feel there and maybe there's uh, distinct sensations particular to the place where your pineal gland is as opposed to your pituitary. And again, it's not a thinking process, but a feeling process that brings you into this space within yourself. And notice the quality of sensation when you pay attention to that area. Now you might add to this as you enjoy that sensation that you can actually kind of reach forward from your pineal 
forward and down towards your pituitary and as you arrive at the pituitary place you can kind of pause for a moment and then arc back and you can actually create a sensation relationship between your pituitary and your pineal gland just kind of arcing back and forth between the two at a very gentle pace that allows yourself to actually generate within you a combined sensation characteristic of both the pineal and the pituitary. Now this is an exercise that you can do by yourself or with friends or silently while you're working with a client who may be on your table and you're holding their head in your hands and you can you can go to this place in yourself and find yourself and training your client to a very deep and peaceful place within themselves. It's a nice way to do service actually. It's a nice way to create an entrainment that's very positive and enriching. Um, it's nice to know where your pituitary and pineal are and if you're back in the room with me now you might be aware of the quality of sensations that are still present to you not just lost in an internal world, but this can be present to you in our, in our common environment. And uh, again, I'm not going to tell you how you feel, but I'm going to let you enjoy the potential feelings that you have within you. So there you go, the little pituitary pineal meditation. It's a fun thing you can do. Uh, so easy to feel good in the human body. Uh, with uh, just inviting yourself within as a somanot to travel deep in inner space. Thanks for sharing with me this experience. Bye!